empiezas a valorar la vida y cuando estás secuestrado o en prisión descubres realmente el significado de la libertad. Lauren Saleh, the Venezuelan activist who was imprisoned and uh, who came uh, to, to the parliament to, to make a play about his uh, life in prison, how it is to be tortured by sounds and, and, and flashing lights and not being able to sleep. <laughs> Esto queda en un sótano de un edificio en el centro de la ciudad que iba a ser la oficina del metro de Caracas. Y la gente pasaba por ese lugar y no sabía que debajo de donde ellos caminaban había un centro de tortura. Y poder hacerlo en este lugar es también para que las personas aquí en el Parlamento Europeo sientan lo que es caminar por encima de un centro de tortura. So I think it was an opportunity for many of us to understand how it is for these thousands and thousands of people, maybe more than that, to, who spend their time in prisons under torture for just the, the simple matter that they have expressed their, their views on society and life and criticized the rulers. Being faced with uh, this type of governments, it is very, very difficult to help uh, people struggling for human rights. All of us get almost daily messages from people who, who say, help us. <laughs> It is very difficult to defend rights of people in such situations. C'est avec beaucoup d'émotion que nous vous recevons aujourd'hui pour remettre le prix Sakharov de cette année 2000. Ese Sakharov significó esa palabra de no están no están solos. Por favor, no se rindan. The roots of the Sakharov Prize are deep down in the history of the Cold War when it was important to defend human rights in, in the, the socialist countries and in the Soviet Union. Not only, but uh, for Europe, of course, that was deeply divided to West and East. The parliament in 1985 decided to, to pick up Andrei Sakharov as the symbol to the name of uh, this annual prize that the parliament was going to establish. El Sáharov no es el respaldo ni el galardón a una persona. Es el reconocimiento a una causa. Significa mucho en realidad. Porque además el legado de Andrei Sáharov, ese, ese regalo que nos dio al mundo. One of the top moments is when we, we select uh, the annual uh, winner of the Saharov Prize, bring them to the parliament and stay in touch with them afterwards. For instance, I'm, I'm thinking of the uh, famous surgeon Denis Mukwege, who has treated women, victims of very harsh, brutal violence in the eastern parts of Democratic Republic of Congo. We really have to contact him regularly to understand in what conditions he works because he's treating these women being uh, himself uh, subordinated to security risks. So for us it's also important that once in a while we contact them and see if there's anything we can do for their security. One very remarkable experience was when the two young Yezidi women, Nadia Murad and Lamia Haji Bashar, came to the European Parliament, they had to share their very, very dramatic, painful experiences, imprisonment by the uh, Islamic State, ISIL. It was very moving, indeed. I think the European Parliament is a very important community for people working on human rights because the whole institution stands behind the decisions we take. 
that is the, the Saharov community. That is the idea, that it's not just the award ceremony. It's much more, it's a, it's a sort of a longer commitment. The Saharov Fellowship, I think, is a great addition to the prize and to the Saharov community consisting of the former laureates because it gives the opportunity for young human rights defenders and activists from very different regions and countries to, to, to learn about human rights laws and ways to defend human rights and they, they can also give peer support to each other because they all struggle in more or less difficult conditions. During this lesson I have learned um, where human rights defenders can uh, seek for protection and also how to help, help from the European Parliament with promoting human rights in, in my region. We are not alone. We are not alone. Que no está solo. You can only do this work when you don't have to do it alone. And that's why the European Parliament is, is, uh, is actually quite an important defender of human rights because it does it with, its, with the whole of its weight. Afortunadamente, desde la Unión Europea y el Parlamento Europeo logramos ese acompañamiento, ese apoyo. Y aunque muchas veces pareciera poco, es bastante. It gives hope for many people who are oppressed today. Le da fuerza para no tirar la toalla y seguir luchando hasta alcanzar la libertad. ¿Por qué? qué? ¿Qué es la libertad? La libertad es hacer aquello que nos hace feliz.